Welcome everyone to my GNOME Tweak uh, preview. And uh, what I'm going to do here is show you guys how to um, implement GNOME Tweak changes. Now um, you notice that when I click the user theme extension, it switches from one uh, theme to another. In this case, the default theme to Ghost. And um, here's where you could change stuff like fonts uh, and um, just basic uh, icons, the GTK theme, the window theme, and the shell theme. So let's go ahead and change some of these to something a little bit more um, attractive. Now I, I am, let's see here. Now we, you'll notice that uh, the shell theme here can't be selected. So what you have to actually do is say user theme extension, click that on, and uh, well you actually have to reboot here at this point to get the theme to show up completely perfectly. You'll notice that the uh, the window theme itself for um, isn't quite showing up. There's still that little X and that that minimize button, but we do have the icon theme, and uh, after login here you could see that. Um, that everything in the window manager uh, looks cor uh, correct. What I actually want to show you guys is how I got the uh, the font in on this. I actually shot this video out of order so I apologize. This is the, um, the theme folder where you'll see Ghost which is actually what's running in the background right now. You'll notice this doesn't look like the generic uh, theme. And I actually added that little um, Arch Linux icon at the top. Looks like there's a little bit of artifacting, but that's actually pretty normal with screen capturing in GNOME, at least on my machine. Now when you go into the icons, you'll see that there's a generic uh, GNOME icons folder and then a Fainza icons folder, which I'm showing you guys right here. And uh, what I'm going to show you guys now is how to, uh, as you can see it right here, what I actually ended up doing was I um, downloaded the icon set from GNOME Look, which actually was hosted by DeviantArt and right here and um, you know you have to export that as super user into the uh, the folders I showed you guys earlier specifically you want to make sure you have no compressed folders in that um, uh, icons folder because when you download uh, Fainza it actually comes with several different versions at the same time but as you can see now, I've got Docky with this uh, themed uh, Fainza look, and um, you know, my desktop. So I'm actually going to change my wallpaper back to the Tron wallpaper you saw at the beginning of the video. And that's the results. Pretty cool, huh? So this is a good way of making sure that uh, GNOME looks a little bit different um, on your computer than everyone else's because you'll be able to take the time to uh, make the changes you'd like.